Hello YouTube, I'm Oddball from the Odd Image with your comic book review like I promised and I said it was Marvel. Today we are going to review Marvel's, uh, not Marvel Zombies, my bad, Marvel's Fear Itself. Um, for those of you who have not read Fear Itself, this is actually one of their, one of like one of the best uh, main event stories. Um, it's basically about, uh, it, it dates back to the time when uh, Red Skull was around. Uh, he was looking for a way to summon the gods, and then he eventually brought down a hammer, like Thor's hammer, but this hammer was uh, could be brought, could only be picked up by the worthy. Um, years, years later, Red Skull's daughter, Sin, finds it, and she is worthy enough to hold it. Um, the hammer calls her to this place where there's an old man named the Serpent. Uh, for those of you who know Norse mythology, Thor, uh, the god Thor, fought, um, his, his, his enemy wasn't Loki, it was the serpent, and then, in the stories and all that, they ended up killing each other, um, but she finds this guy named the serpent, and what he does, he brings down hammers on all the world, and bring, bring, basically what the hammers do, is the hammers, they make, um, like some of the worst villains, and heroes into like what I mean by worse I mean like the like the strongest they all get hammers and they all become like super gods and all that like um Hulk gets a hammer and the thing gets a hammer and see if I, I don't see if I can show you guys Hulk and Thor no Hulk and the thing versus uh Thor that's a scary match um there's a lot of uh people who get hammers um it's it's a, by far one of the better ones. Uh, a lot of good heroes die in it too, which is kind of uh, upsetting uh, for some of you who like those heroes. Um, Juggernaut gets a hammer. Absorbing Man gets a hammer. Titania gets a hammer. Um, I cannot remember what Namor's enemy's name is. He gets one, by the way. Grey Gargoyle gets a hammer. And it's like all these like villains with hammers go all evil already were evil they all get all supercharged and they just start rampaging destroying everything in sight it's up to the avengers uh to stop them and my lamp is in the way <laughs> it's up to the avengers to stop them and it's a really good one it's a uh, it's quite a good read if you have the time for it um well it's not like avengers versus x-men i mean you had to be patient to read the whole thing in one go uh because i did <laughs> Um, but like I said, Marvel Fear itself was, is very good, and there's a lot of side stories to them. I only own one side story. It's Deadpool and, uh, the Fearsome Four. Fearsome Four being Frankenstein, Nighthawk, uh, She-Hulk, and Howard the Duck. Uh, <laughs> that, trust me, that one's actually really good. Uh, the Deadpool one's funny. The Fearsome Four one's actually really interesting, um... Mar what Marvel's doing recent, what Marvel's been doing recently is they've been getting a lot of characters that don't get enough, uh, enough uh, uh, shine, enough credit, and they're just putting them more out there, and it's really cool how they're doing it too. It's really interesting. They did a lot of that in Avengers vs. X Men with some of the lesser known Marvel characters, and they did that in this one too with some characters. Um, this is a very good one because uh, how the Avengers fight back is like they get Odin to. Odin gives each and every one of the Avengers um, their own special weapons, and they become like super and all that. Um, let me see if I can show you guys a picture of what the Avengers look like all supercharged. Let me just. Uh, okay, I'll put it this way. See, Hawkeye gets a super bow, Wolverine, Iron Man, She Hulk gets a sword. Iron Fist, um, Doctor Strange, yeah, oh, I don't know if you guys saw Spider-Man, he has, like, gauntlets, but they all get their own special weapons and all that, it's pretty cool, Thor obviously stays with his hammer, uh, here's a better picture, a close-up, here's what Wolverine looks like, um, She-Hulk, Ms. Marvel, Black Widow, Iron Man, Hawkeye, Doctor Strange, uh, Spider-Man, Iron Fist, um, they're the ones who get the special weapons, um, 
it's a really good one, guys. If you haven't read it, I, I do recommend this one. Uh, what I rate this one as is um, 8 out of 10. It's great. It's not the best, though, but it's still one of my favorites. So 8 out of 10 for that one. Um, that's today's comic review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions or any uh, recommendations or suggestions on what I should do for my next comic book review or vlog for that matter or just video in general, uh, comment below. Let me know. And I am Oddball signing out, guys. Have a good night because I'm tuning out.